Okay, hi there. Welcome to another micro video. Uh, this time looking at uh, a worked example, a numerical example of how a change in a firm's fixed cost of production can affect their profitability. Here's our initial situation, downward sloping demand curve for a firm operating in the short run. Uh, and the original profit maximizing output is, is assumed to be 280. The price per unit is 160 pounds per unit. We can show the total profit is the difference between price and average cost, which is assumed to be a profit of 22,400. The price per unit is 160. The cost per unit is assumed to be 80 pounds per unit. Now, what happens to total profits if there's an increase in a firm's fixed costs? For example, it could be brought about by an increase in insurance premiums or perhaps higher rental costs if you're a store operating on a high street or in a retail mall. So what happens to a firm's profits if there's an increase in fixed costs? Well, no change in variable costs. So no change in marginal cost. That's the secret, the key to this question. If fixed costs go up, then the average cost will increase. AC1 shifts to AC2, but there is no change in marginal cost. That stays the same. As a result, there is no change in the price or the output where a firm maximizes profit. That output will stay at 280. However, profits will change. The yellow area showed the original profit, but now with the higher fixed costs, I'm assuming the average cost is now 120 pounds per unit. So that orange shaded area shows the new profit after the increase in fixed costs. The firm won't increase the price, they just have to take a hit to their profits. Key takeaway point really is that change in fixed costs are assumed not to impact on the profit maximizing price and output. Only changes in variable cost bring about a shift in marginal cost, which would change the profit maximizing equilibrium.